Welcome back to another episode of Tales from the Trash Can. I'm your host, Big Daddy Cold Steel, coming at you with the jawbone of a Greek god and the voice of an angel. And today, we're going to be taking a look at the Diablo Speed Demon uh, self-feed bit. That took a lot to get out, you guys. And uh, this is probably, <laughs> this is random. And what the hell do you need this for? So we're going to unbox this right now. So generally, what you use these types of uh, bits for is like boring holes. So if you've heard of like a regular uh, a hole saw, right? A hole bit for drilling doorknobs in. This will do that, but in a very, very uh, specific way. So I think we just go like this. Oh, that's pretty easy. It's not even taped on or anything. Yeah, so, so the reason why you have a self-feed bit, okay, I just learned this myself. So we're going to educate you guys. Oh, nice. The reason why you have a self-feed bit is that with a regular bit, it would look more like this, okay? It would look like a tube. And you put it in your drill, and you drill the hole, it spins around, whatever, and then you get a wood core stuck in the tube. And usually the back ends, like right around here, are open, so you take a screwdriver or something and you push and pop the core out. Okay. That's a fucking disaster. So we avoid that shit altogether. And we go with the self-feed bit. All right. Because the self-feed uh, situation, you don't ever need to take the core out. You just need to not cut yourself with this super sharp bit because it has these blades on the inside here. So as you're cutting... It's just chewing the shit out of the material uh, that you're cutting through. So this is great for rough timber. Now, I bought, <clears throat> excuse me, the two and an eighth inch. And the reason is, is that is, or fuck it should be, unless I'm stupid, uh, the diameter of a doorknob. So the job that I need to do with this, I'm going to make it work with two and an eighth. And if I have to make it a little wider with my sawzall, I will do it. Or my chisel, I will do it. But I bought this because this bit is expensive, you guys. $45 for uh, this bit, I believe. And for that, I got an entire set of uh, DeWalt tungsten carbide bits. So this one bit is so expensive. But, you know, if you're drilling boring holes through timber and you have to do a lot of them and you have to do it quickly... You can't deal with a stupid, you know, doorknob style bit like this where you got to keep popping that core out. It takes forever, not to mention it's slow. So I watched the video for these guys, um, Diablo versus, uh, say, DeWalt or uh, Irwin had another one, a different type one. I think that that was a three head cutter. This is a two head cutter. So this is what they're calling the heads, right? So this half would be one head. This half would be the other. The Irwin is a three cutter. If I had to take a guess, I would say that this would be more for rough cuts. And the Irwin would be more for fine cuts. Now, they would they may disagree. It does say clean wood. Okay. Uh, but we're not going to be using that. We're going to be using our rough timber because we have to drill some mortises. So we're going to drill two holes side by side, simply like this. And then the material in the middle, okay, which would be here, okay, this extra material, we're going to chisel out. So then it's just completely round like that. We get rid of all that extra hourglass style material. And how we're going to do that is with this bit because it's just faster. Now, what I will say is, I don't think this fucking thing's gonna fit in my drill. Now, I have two drills. I have um, two DeWalt. One's a big fatty moose knuckle hammer drill. I'm not sure what the chuck size, that might be half inch, you guys. Yeah, it might be half inch. I think mine's three eighths, I'm not positive. So this may just only go in my drill press. Hopefully it fits, but it's a heavy dude. <laughs> I can't even tell you. And apparently these bit tip things, uh, if they do snap off, they're replaceable. When I've heard, yeah, okay, so there's a whole shaft 
It goes in there. Uh, yeah, okay, so and here's the Allen. So you loosen up the Allen, and I guess if the shaft gets jacked up, you just take it out. And I have files, okay, you guys. So I could file this if it gets dull. I guess you file downward like that. I also have, as you may know, Dremel Platinum Kit. So I could easily resharpen this thing, no problem. And I'll probably have it for life. So this is a, uh, a new style of a self-feed bit put out by this company, uh, Diablo, brand the Speed Demon, uh, which is a competitor to the DeWalt and the Irwin. Uh, Milwaukee has some bits like this. But this one, I mean, I watched the videos and it just chewed through everything. I have to do 126 holes and I'm hoping I can get through it with not having to resharpen. Um, and it comes up all the way up to three inch. I was really tempted to get the three inch. This is probably not fucking wide enough. Unfortunately, looking at it, that's really narrow. But it's gonna have to fucking do because I wasn't about to buy a bit that I could only use for one job, especially when I'm not getting paid. I do all this stuff for free, just for you guys. So I said, I'm gonna buy the tuna knife because then I can use it to drill uh, doorknob holes at a later time. So this is cool. It's kind of blued. I don't think it's paint. I think they blued it so it won't rust, but I will oil it anyway. And that's just a little quick review of uh, uh, the speed demon, speed de demon, demon, speech impediment of the uh, speed demon. Damn, I can't do it. <laughs> What's the with me? Of the Diablo speed demon, two cutter self feed bit, two and an eighth inch, this big daddy cold steel. Signing out.